Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday weather update for September the 7th. And we're tracking rain in both New Zealand and Australia. We'll start with New Zealand. The cold front moving northwards at the moment, falling apart as it does so. Like we said yesterday, like a human running through a swimming pool. Eventually it gets too hard and you just give up. That front is doing that right now. It is falling apart because it is surrounded by high pressure to the east and to the west. Now over in Australia, this is a low pressure system that's developing into a storm uh, by Friday for the southeastern corner and is at the moment sparking a whole lot of thunderstorms through central parts of Australia. This is it here, 8 o'clock in the morning for the eastern side of Australia, 10 o'clock in the morning New Zealand time. This cold front bringing thunderstorms into five states at the same time. Northern Territories, Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales and Victoria all getting that active uh, thundery front as it moves through. So on the big picture, you can see that area of low pressure, the colder southerlies feeding in, the warmer northerlies, that's why you're getting those thunderstorms. And on the New Zealand side, high pressure, both sides of the North Island. So a southwest flow pretty much in between the two, but that front moving into the North Island is falling apart. So rainfall wise, not much for New Zealand, just a few showers in the west, uh, 5 to 10 in the yellow there, so not a huge amount, and that's for the next three days ahead. Over in Australia, most of the rain along the eastern side and down here to the south. This, for some reason, doesn't show those thunderstorms tracking through. I'm not quite sure why, because you could be seeing 5 to 20 or 30 millimetres through some of those areas with those isolated downpours, or those widespread downpours, actually, I should say, through that central part. Now, let's have a look at temperatures. The cold front coming into Australia means that tomorrow Friday, maximum temperatures are four to eight degrees below what you would normally expect at this time of the year. Now contrast that with New Zealand, the South Island over eight degrees above normal. That's the difference between southerlies and west to northwesterly winds uh, across the two different nations. So here we are on Friday, there is that storm parked right over the top of Tasmania, driving in gale force winds to parts of Victoria, Melbourne included. But over here in New Zealand, fairly settled with that big block of high pressure, meaning winds are fairly light and the skies are mostly dry. Over in Aussie, uh, only area with rain to the north is around the coastal parts of Queensland, well north of Brisbane. But Sydney, you do have some rain on Friday and make the most of it because the next nine days ahead are mostly dry, if not completely dry. So the windy weather you can see here through Bass Strait, the area in purple showing gusts to 100 k's an hour or more, and that's the southerly portion of it there, hugging that western side of Aussie. So really through Bass Strait, that will be the worst winds on Friday lunchtime. Now by Saturday lunchtime, at least lunchtime New Zealand, 10 o'clock in the morning over here, blustery conditions through Bass Strait that is on the way to the South Island, and you'll notice on Saturday the northerly winds ahead of it gradually building up. There's uh, the low pressure zone is dropping down into the Southern Ocean. It's going to get bigger down there. So just a couple of light showers for the very top of New Zealand, maybe an isolated shower on the West Coast and over there around Gisborne, but otherwise it is dry. So by Sunday, the stormy weather from Aussie moves into New Zealand. We get the windy nor'westers. Uh, they'll be mild for the North Island. Uh, not quite as warm for the south, although eastern areas will be pretty warm, I think, on Sunday. There comes the rain, and that's that system coming out from Tasmania. You've got high pressure now, so light winds, calm conditions, and colder nights, although warmer northerlies kicking in there for you. Now, we've got another burst of rain coming for New Zealand from that burst of uh, low pressure from Australia. So for the two days starting from Sunday morning, up to 100 millimetres here on the west coast. Not very much in the east though, fairly dry. And to the north of New Zealand, the yellow's there, 5 to 15 millimetres for most of you. And that's over three days. So showers, in other words. So by Monday next week, there is that front bringing in showers, uh, very patchy sort of rain coming through. And that low that was around Tasmania drops to the Southern Ocean, merges with other systems, deepens. Proper storm down there, that will just brush southern New Zealand and will actually help lift up your temperatures. So by Tuesday next week, you get the cooler change after the milder Monday. Tuesday is cooler with a southwester coming through behind that storm system. High pressure to the east and out to the west. Typical spring weather. Changeable, if you like, around many places. But drying out a lot in Australia, and if you notice the maps here in New Zealand, eastern and northern areas are gradually drying out too. 
That's all from me for today. Back again tomorrow Friday with our next update. We'll see you then.